what's up guys this is Kazi and I'm back with a tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to use Plexus um, Plexus is a third party plugin that you have to download uh, you can probably get it from somewhere uh, buy it or you know get it on some other way um, yeah uh, the plugin is called Robite um, but the effective cell it's called Plexus and what Plexus based is is uh, it is dots and lines um, and it's pretty amazing and the unique thing is that uh, the more um, space is between the dots the more faded out the lines get you see, if you can see this uh, you know the lines are slightly fading away when the dots are you know moving away from each other so that's a pretty unique thing about this but uh, I don't really use it for that I pretty much use the dots and like motion track them to objects or something like that but this is an easy pretty easy thing you can do you can just mess with the positions and yeah so I'm gonna show you how to do this one Right here, I've just motion tracked a dot to the barrel or yeah, barrel of the gun, and as it going down, um, and it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Um, so first, I'm just gonna delete these two things. Um, so what you're gonna start by doing is you're gonna go to layer. Um, new. Wow. Wait a second. Uh, I'm gonna go to layer, new, and light object. Mm, you don't really have to change anything here. So you just can click OK. Um, and a light object should should appear here. Uh, here's the light layer. You can go ahead and duplicate this. Move over the point to where, um, yeah. So, uh, what I like to do next is all right, right now you should actually motion track this point, but I'm just gonna keyframe the position really roughly here. Um, gonna move up here, uh, click down, transform, and click at the stopwatch for position. Go forward a bit here. Just drag it down. Drag it down some more. This is gonna look shit, but you will always obviously uh, have to motion track this to get it right. But for the tutorial's sake, I won't do that. I might do a uh, motion tracking in After Effects tutorial another time, but. Um, that should do it. You shouldn't do this for too long. And I, I want most track this point. I guess we'll have it sitting there. So what we're gonna do now is go to new layer, new and solid. Uh, I usually do white. I don't think that color matters really. Um, and now we're gonna apply the effect. Uh, so go to effects, robot and plexus. And white solid should disappear. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is look at this effect in preset uh, effect controls tab here. We get two effects. One is Plexus Toolkit and one is Plexus. So what we're gonna do now is go to Add an Object in the Plexus Toolkit. We're gonna click None and we're gonna click Lights Object, the uh, lights. And this a third. Uh, effect or something should appear here um, and we basically got ourselves some dots we can drag this up the scale of the dots if you get on to plexus points you can go to point size and drag it up right now I have 32 and they're pretty big so yeah and we can go down to lines and we're gonna change the maximum distance between 
the dots so the lines actually appear. Um, I'm gonna drag this up until I see a line. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see it. I'm gonna put up. Oh, you should you should be able to see this. Um, and now I can just scrub through here, and the line is motion tracked or not really motion tracked but you know it looks motion tracked so um yeah but this this plugin is really big you can do a lot of things with it this is just scratching the surface pretty much um you can go to uh, whoa, whoa, whoa what am I gonna do uh we can go to replications under plexus light object here you can drag it up to if you're gonna do two repetitions. What? Uh, I'm gonna drag the point size down a little bit. Maybe down to there, and I'm also gonna drag uh, the thickness down a bit right there. And yeah, what can we do? We could um, click uh, extrude depth and go forward a little bit and drag that down and things start to mm, happen um, yeah so basically what I do down now is a cool little animation of some sort I don't know you guys have to go uh, and be creative with this uh, there's as I said a lot of things you can do with it so it's pretty cool plugin and yeah I like it uh, I like it a lot um, Mm, what else could I do? Let's see. Um. Wow. Uh. Okay. Okay. This we can do this. Uh. We can drag it up to more repetitions. Let's let's do like ten of them and drag up the extrude depth. And crazy stuff starts to happen. Um. Let's drag it up some more. And we can go to rotation, X rotation, and I don't know, mess around. Let's do like that. Go down to wires, uh, rotation. Drag it around some more, and instead rotation. And this is pretty cool. You can do the spiral things like this. Actually, I'm gonna yes, fix. Uh, I'm gonna do mm, theory on that. And zero on Y. So we just got this cool looking thing here. I don't know. As I said, you will have to get creative with this. Um, wow, that looks pretty cool actually. I don't know. Yeah. So this is pretty much everything for today. And I know I said pretty much like a thousand times. But if you guys would like to see another tutorial about.